coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Tom Hodgson's stunning B-29 replica flies. Cleveland Tool makes impassioned plea. German UL builder to cease production of Aerolite 120. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Tom Hodgson's stunning B-29 replica flies. The long-awaited first flight of the Tom Hodgson B-29 replica took place last week in style. A one-hour first flight featured a number of flybys and low passes before the builder and pilot decided he had all the data he needed and brought it back to its home drone in Kokomo, Indiana. Hodgson reported that the aircraft was pretty much in trim and that there were no significant issues during the test flight. The four Honda Fit engines appeared to be more than adequate for the monster home build, as demonstrated by a short departure roll and fairly decent climbouts both on takeoff as well as in each of several low passes. Unfortunately, a Saturday flight resulted in damage after a golf cart filming close to the runway was struck by the landing aircraft, injuring the camera person but leaving Hodgson unharmed and damaging the aircraft. The aircraft is an even more arduous project than the much-fated Bally B-17 bomber in that Hodgson built up all the engines himself and designed a number of special features to make this aircraft feasible. The two-seat tandem bird is likely to be one heck of a hit should it make its way to Oshkosh. More info to follow. Coming up after the break, first T-38 replacement arrives at Edwards. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. First T-38 replacement arrives at Edwards. The long-awaited replacement for the T-38 Talon twin-engine jet trainer has finally arrived at Edwards AFB, with the initial T-7A tendered to the integrated test force. The newfangled aircraft has faced some setbacks in the development process, from ejection seat issues to next-gen electronics interfaces. Now that the force has it in hand and in flight, the testing and certification process begins in earnest. The particular plane is APT-2, the first production plane off the line. Anniversary of B-17 P-63 collision casts pall over Aviation Discovery Fest. Recognizing the tragedy of last year's Wings Over Dallas Air Show, Aviation Discovery Fest won't be seeing a quote traditional air show later this month per CAF personnel. The change is meant to help audiences, friends, and family navigate the lingering pains of loss after a horrific collision between the CAF's B-17 Flying Fortress and a Bell P-63 King Cobra that claimed the lives of six aviators. The CAF made the decision earlier this year, feeling it was just a little too soon to get back into the swing of things. Spacewalkers lose another bag of tools outside the ISS. The ISS crew's latest spacewalk was marred with some embarrassment after one of the team's untethered tool bags separated from the crew and lost into a decaying orbit below. The spacewalk was hoped to be a nice public relations opportunity, making use of an all-female crew for the November 1st EVA-89 repair mission. 
While astronauts Jasmine Mugbelli and Laurel O'Hara were exiting the ISS to begin their work, the bag of tools slipped out into the cold reaches of space. Rocket Lab completes anomaly review and announces next launch. Rocket Lab USA has announced a return to launch operations after an operational pause following the loss of its 41st electron mission in September. That mission failed 151 seconds into launch in a strangely ordinary phase of flight after successful liftoff, maximum Q, and both stage separations. The anomaly had been dissected and analyzed to find that, quote, an unexpected electrical arc occurred within the power supply system that provides high voltage to the Rutherford engine's motor controllers, shorting the battery packs that provide power to the launch vehicle second stage, end quote. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Cleveland Tool makes impassioned plea. A heartfelt request from the family owners of Cleveland Aircraft Tool began making the rounds this week, an unfortunate reminder of just how fragile the light aircraft industry remains. Cleveland Aircraft Tool is a good old-fashioned company providing assistance in building and repair for amateur-built, experimental, and vintage aircraft. Their bread and butter lies in the van's catalog. Blake, joint owner of the operation along with his wife Becky, acknowledged the problems faced during the ongoing supply woes over at Vans Aircraft. Cleveland is keenly affected by changes in sales and builds, and the van's issue is only one of a few issues plaguing the sport plane industry. Cleveland's new owners took over last year, continuing 30-plus years of aviation service started by the Lauritsen family. Blake admits that business is flagging from where it needs to be to keep things running. Quote, in order to buy the business, we took out a pretty sizable loan, which was a scary risk, but the math all worked out, so we felt comfortable that we would be able to keep up with plenty of margin for error. And then the last few months happened. With recent turbulence in the industry, our sales numbers have dropped considerably for the last several months, end quote. The company is asking the community to place orders now in order to help them stay afloat. We wish them well. And coming up after these messages, German ultralight builder to cease production of Aerolite 120. Backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man. It feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. Welcome back. German ultralight builder to cease production of Aerolite 120. The sport aviation community has not had a lot of good news of late, with the despicable situation involving Rotor X and the many customers that have been cheated, the far more upfront but nonetheless troubling issues surrounding Vans aircraft, as well as other bad news or problems we've observed coming from companies like Progressive Aerodyne, Glazair, C-Max, TL Ultralight, and others. Another low blow was struck with the announcement that the German Aerolite 120 will shortly cease production. The Aerolite 120 is a slick little ultralight, with Dacron sailcloth wings, a Polini pusher engine, electric starter, and electric flaps. The company explained, quote, It has been our aim to counter the drastic inflation of recent years through better contracts with our suppliers. Unfortunately, the economic situation in Germany has not improved since then. Therefore, with a heavy heart, we decided to stop production for the Aerolite 120 at the end of the year. Of course, we are still happy to be available to our customers for spare parts requests. Their website and Facebook and Instagram pages will be temporarily deactivated. The newsletter will be stopped at the same time and the associated addresses will be deleted in accordance with privacy regulations. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.